I was in a class of six uh, in media arts and then usually these readings we kind of um, discuss like in class and out of class through readings and we'll go for like films together and then discuss it afterwards. I just sit on the lawn outside Singapore Art Museum, talk about the film and go into existential weeping like on the grass. <laughs> so it's, it's little moments like this that's kind of pivotal things where like he just trusts you to kind of take these readings like that are way beyond your age group and then um, you apply it to your life. So I think that's very valuable. I think when I was younger, I've always wanted to have a place like Sota to be able to do my art, dance while I'm in school, to exchange ideas with VA students or theatre or music students. I think that's the part, the bus is something that I would love to have. I think for me, it's mostly about the students ultimately by the time they graduated and them coming back to exchanging knowledge with me. I think that was the time whereby I realised that the students have gained something from SOTA and able to contribute to the society or to share it with others. I think that to me is um, the most endearing and proudest moment. At the time, I was really proud of it. It was like the lead role, I was really happy, I was articulating, I was performing. After the show, I kind of started to realise that what I did wasn't amazing. It pushed me to want to be better and I wanted to do Hamlet better again. And so I think it was at that moment where I was like, you know what, Data's, it has to be what I have to do for the rest of my life. That memory of doing Hamlet subpar will always drive me to do Hamlet brilliant the next time. And yeah, so Hamlet. One of the most uh, memorable events in the school would be the release of the IB results. Uh, you hear the claps, the cheers, and I can see the teachers all around at the lecture theatre. They'll be beaming with pride at their charges, and it is really a culmination of all the hard work and the stress and the complaints and the late nights that they have gone through, each achieving their dream, their passion. They know exactly what they want, and that's the very remarkable thing about Sota. Two years back, uh, I had a few theatre students in my class, and they were doing a production, Body of Lang. The students was having some difficulty understanding uh, some of the lines uh, in the script and so I helped her by explaining to her what does those lines meant. So it was a very special moment for me because I, I felt that I connected with my student and her work in a very different way. And I also went for the play. They actually play a very famous uh, Hokkien song, Bang Chun Hong, which uh, literally sent me to tears because it reminded me of my grandmom. We used to sing the song together. I wanted to share a memory with you about the 2011 GPS trip. This involved the first batch of uh, SOTA students. I, I think there was one incident where we woke down very early in the morning, 4am. <laughs> and I think this was after a long day's work the day before. The whole idea was to actually make them trek through the dark. It was cold, it was chilly, I know there was a lot of complaining going on. <laughs> Uh, but that memory sticks out because when they, at the end of the track, when they actually sat down and they, they watched the sunrise and then they realised we, we are just being a part of that whole uh, microcosm of society, of, of the universe and all. So that was pretty brilliant. So, so all these moments are just encapsulated in, in my mind every time I cross the batches that have graduated. So. 2008, Animal Farm. Year one, theatre students. And technically, that was the first time that we really saw uh, the students on stage and we were just blown away. How could they be not drawing straight lines in my science diagram when they can do such beautiful work? And we knew that we just needed to find the right way to engage the students. And you know, Animal Farm was the start for theatre and it just became much better through the years and I'm really, really proud of the students. When I had a jazz musical performance, I think it was with uh, Mr. Ko, Mr. Stromberg, Mr. Ryan, and then Jane. Um, it was the first time I sang jazz and I did some musicals. It was a challenge for me because Dr. Manhart, he introduced a new genre to me, something that I was not very used to. I think that's what's special about Sota is that they put you out there and get you out of your comfort zone and make you learn something new about yourself. So yeah. When we moved to Zubazad, it was the middle of a school year. And one of the great things that I still remember is that when we used the spaces, they were extension of all our collective imagination now. 
people make a house. People make family. When each chapter, when everybody, we talk about a goose formation. And why did that happen? Throughout the life of the student life of Sota, teachers and students also passed on. And we use the story of the goose formation to talk about gathering wing speed, moving on, coming away from the group, and yet forming again, and then after that, breaking off into new generations of goose formation. The V formation is not about one pact. It's about each one of us encouraging the other behind him that comes after and moving forward again, against the stream, but through long distances of time. And what are the dreams and hopes going out from the 10 years we wish everyone here in this community, in this house of Sota, that there will be different goose formations happening. But in that, we can be always anchored back home, and you can know it as your first school, um, School of the Arts Singapore. Happy 10th anniversary, Sota. Happy 10th year anniversary, Sota. Happy 10th anniversary, Sota. More good years. Happy 10th anniversary, Sota. Happy 10th anniversary, Sota. Happy 10th year anniversary, Sota. Happy 10th anniversary, Sota. Happy 10th anniversary, Sota. Happy 10th anniversary, Sota. Happy